Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another League's video. And today I am starting off fishing at the Barbarian Outpost. And the reason for that is, well, eventually I need to have high fishing anyways to enter the fishing guild, catch some sharks and whatnot, so I figured this is the great place to start the video. So we're starting on 12.05 total. Our current rank on the leaderboards is rank 90 overall. And at the moment of recording, I have exactly 4.3k points, getting somewhat close to the tier 6 fragments. When fishing, I'm actually gonna be unlocking new fragments, and I got Chef's Catch. It actually cooks the caught fish, which uh, would usually be fairly useful. However, I'm fishing here right now, so it doesn't really matter. But later on, I'll definitely equip it. That's, that seems pretty good. Boys, boys, ladies, gentlemen, I just got Catch of the Day. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is the one where I actually actually wanna get it because I believe it gives you like rare items. Get rare drops from fishing, look at that, it, that's so convenient since I'm AFKing anyways. 1 in 300 chance of obtaining rare, then 1 in 200, then 1 in ooh, one in 80, that's really likely. Now I'm just thieving a master farmer again in hopes of obtaining a Renar seed. Two full thieving levels and still no sign of a Renar, I've already thieved a thousand five hundred master farmer and the drop rate is 1 in 300, so I'm getting a bit unlucky on this damn Renar, but at least I'll have a shit ton of seeds for when I finally decide to train farming. Well, today I learned that the Renar seeds scale off of your farming level, and I'm absolutely <laughs> disappointed because I never knew that, so my farming is only 20. I thieved, uh, let's just say 1,600 of them. I made a Twitter post because I wanted to make a joke, and apparently it's because my farming level is low. So you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go thieve my fucking paladins Still, I'm 91 thieving. I'm absolutely devastated. There it is, 91 thieving. Cash stack also looking pretty healthy right now. 10,000 chaos runes as well. Where did those come from? I've got no idea, but now with 91 thieving, I can do a couple of tasks again that are gonna give me a ton of points. Now that I do have the money, I am going to visit my friend over here called Eblis, and he's gonna sell me an ancient staff. Absolutely, yes, please. There we go, 80,000 for this one, and now I'll be able to autocast ancient magics, and this is why we train to 91 thieving. Uh, look at the amount of points, 4 points for this one, and 120 25 league points and because I think when I'm training magic it's just better to have arcane conduit because it's gonna save me so many runes I'm not gonna go for knife's edge no more I'm only gonna go for the other magic perk which is going to be the chain magic so if I hide this I'm gonna unlock all of these boom boom and bam for the last one I can literally pick whichever one I want and at the moment I want to upgrade my bottomless quiver because why not? It is time for some dopamine. Let's see what do we got. Uh, Venom Master upgrade, Unholy Ranger, Venom Master, Alchemaniac, Slay and Pay, Enhanced the Jeweler, Alchemaniac, Unholy Warrior, Unholy Warrior, Alchemaniac, Unholy Wizard, Slay and Pay. Dude, these are gonna max out so fast. Bottomless Quiver upgrade, nice, that's almost max. Praying Respects, that might be it. That might actually be it. I think I just got it. One second, we might have to go to the bank. Yes! Bury bones and scattered ashes automatically buried. Ladies and gentlemen, let's visit our bank. That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, we have three more though. Let's quickly open those. Oh, that is beautiful. And to think that I only used 60 death runes in this whole time. Man, we're gonna get 99 magic in no time. All right, we got a couple extra fragments. Let's quickly unlock them. And I'm just gonna go really quickly through this. As soon as we get something new, we should see it. Ooh. Ooh, that is Unholy Ranger maxed out now. That's cool. Venom Master is almost maxed out and Alchemaniac is almost maxed out as well. Every time I'm busy in real life, I return back to fishing. Here is 75 fishing, but at the same time, we also just upgraded our Alchemaniac to Fragment Tier 3. 60 agility without really training it that much. So at some point, I'm gonna go do some Sears agility course and I'm gonna also be making decent money. 76, meaning we can now catch sharks. Entering the fishing guild, very simple tasks. As I said, the next time I'm AFKing, I'll come here and catch 100 sharks because it's gonna be really slow. Okay, there we go. We just got praying respects to level 2, so I should be getting a ton more XP right now. Sometimes I really wish I could use this mid-combat, but you can't. Oh wait, you can. Wait, kind of insane with it. I didn't even know. Holy shit, so many stuff is getting to tier 3. What do I even do after that? Oh, there you go. Let's just go back at it and see what we got. Venom Master, we got... We got Enhanced the Jeweler to tier 3 right now. 
We got... Bro, I got so much stuff, I don't even know. Well, it's popping up on the screen, so... I must have missed quite a lot. And Holy Warrior is 3 as well. All of that will definitely be using. Venom Master Tier 3. I think I'm very close to maxing out my combat fragments. We also got an Unholy Wizard to Tier 3 now. Let's unlock some more of this. Rogue. Praying Respect. Slay and Pay is now maxed out as well. Nice. Ooh. All combat fragments with this tier have reached their maximum level. You'll no longer receive this tier of combat fragment. There we go. We maxed it out. The combat ones, at least. I still need to find the dragon one. I, I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, rune chain body for free. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, this guy does sell soul runes, so they are very expensive, and I don't know how many I will need, but let's just buy 10. I think that should suffice us for a while. Let's just get 10 more. I'm not sure. And now that we have a wizard's mind bomb, we're gonna drink it, we're gonna get three magic levels, and we're gonna start off with an ice barrage, then the blood barrage, then a shadow barrage, and then a smoke barrage, and the points are just absolutely flying in. So smoke, shadow, blood, and and ice. Beautiful stuff. So right now I should be able to be gaining a lot of Sage's Renown. We're on 41, meaning I can unlock some really good content, but I'll first do as many tasks as I can on the content that I already have unlocked. And the first one we're gonna start off with is just completing a Seer's course. That's three Sage's Renown for free. There we go. Thanks for the Toad Crunchies. Yoink. Yeah, that's a free task. I remember that one from a while ago. Spot your cape. Not gonna need that ever again. That was 50 points, by the way. We'll take it. Come on now, you can hit dragon see me, you got this. Speckle for the end, easy money. Room plate legs, not bad actually, that's a good drop. Uh, so defeat of demonic gorilla, if gorillas could fly, and why did I get two? I didn't even know there were two, but I got two, so nice. All right then, if my memory serves me well, that is lava runes and combination runes, so two extra tasks completed. Look at our sage's renown just going up, 58 to spend. I believe this will be the task as well. Yes sir, there we go. Two Sages Renown. There we go. We just filled the large pouch and we got a task done. I'm also gonna go for the giant one just because I'm already here. I might as well. And that's the giant pouch. I don't have the level to fill it just yet, but we will take it. I believe that is everything I wanted to get from this place. Let's get out of here. Now I can craft the law runes. So now we gotta make 50 of those. That should be the 50 law runes right here. Nice. We'll take that. Cheesing the system a little bit. Here is my Earth Surge. 350 points. Equipping the cape should be one of the tasks. And I'm actually gonna go straight for Magic Cape 2. Never mind change of plans. I don't actually have an ability to buy Blood Runes here. So we'll do that at the later date. So, first off, we entered this dungeon for some tasks. Now we're gonna kill a Fire Giant. Fire Giant defeated. We grab this. We leave this place immediately. That is an easy task. There we go. More Sages Renown for completing Wilderness course. Chaos runes. I forgot chaos runes. Ah, it's a disaster. I'll just do everything else, I guess. How did I forget chaos runes? Bro, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill a black dragon. I'm gonna get a chaos runes for a drop. It's gonna be insane. Nobody's gonna know. Let's see. Visage. It would be too good. Oh, uh, but blood runes are not bad, though. We'll take that. There it is. We gone and did it for some blood runes and the looting bag, which, believe it or not, I actually think it's a task to open it. Maybe I check something in it as well. Yeah, it is. Nice. Two tasks, one go. Just defeated a uh, crazy archaeologist. Wait, what? I've also done Mage of the Ruins. I'd rather not learn. What even are those? Well, I'll take it. Thank you. There's the green dragon down as well. Let's just loot it in a looting bag. Our very first production fragment, smithing double. Let's take a look at what this does. This sounds good. Smithing at the anvil has a 5% chance to give two of the end product with 100% XP. That was the task, bro. Okay, we good. 30 chunks of granite mine. Beautiful. Molten miner. Wait a second. This could be really good for what we are doing at the moment. Smelt ore while mining. 20, 50, and 100%. Okay, this is a pretty expensive one, but a pretty good one. I should be able to resurrect some of my crops. The spell failed. Let let me try again. What? Ah, there it is. Okay, I got scared, man. What the hell? Leave a like if you know what this spell does. The, the, nah, I, I fucked it. I wanted to pull a solo mission and I fucked it. It is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be cooking and catching 100 sharks right now. This should take forever. I used the buffs to get plus 8 invisible boost, so everything has plus 8 right now, and we'll utilize that in order to catch them just a little bit faster. What do we get? Chef's catch and more clue scrolls. We just caught a thousand sharks, and I quickly need to get one more fishing level so i'm just gonna go ahead and harpoon this spot until i reach 77 fishing because then i'll have 85 and i'll be able to catch dark crabs so here it is 77 fishing i now have 120 dark fishing bait which should be more than enough to what i need and i'm also gonna kill a couple of crazy archaeologists just to see if we can maybe land on a rune crossbow well last kill and i got some potato with cheese i'm not gonna kill anymore but every time i come nearby wilderness i'm 
might consider doing more. Now the setup for fishing dark crabs, I'm gonna once again go with a chef's catch so I can cook the caught fish and uh, there is actually an elite task to cook a dark crab so I really hope it will work when I just catch it. Like I don't wanna TP away from you, like XD, <laughs> like now what? What you gonna do now? <laughs> like, it's just... I just waste so much time. So this should be a task. And now I am going to just simply catch some dark crabs here. Cook a dark crab, 125 points. Another production fragment as well. Dine and dash, nice. So still gotta catch a shit ton of dark crabs. So we'll be here for a while. Conveniently enough, 78 fishing. And the very next dark crab is also going to be another task done. A beautiful 50 extra points. We have so many points to spend. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get imaginary 75 agility. So there for seven agility levels. Let's go get those. I get 15,000 coins right now when I get a marks of grace and I should get at least a couple of those. Now instead of spending any more time training on the seer course, we're gonna go ahead and train in agility arena. Now preferably I want to do an entire hour without a mistake so I get 60 tickets in a row because that is a task but knowing me I'll probably find a way to fail. I didn't realize but the fragment I'm using is gonna be perfect for this simply because even if something lowers my stat it just boosts it straight up back up to plus eight so even if i mess up even if i get constantly hit the fragment is gonna keep me going which is gonna be very important when i do this ticket number one ten more to go if i miss this like if i if something happens and i i don't get it i'm rage quitting leagues and never playing it again but <laughs> hopefully nothing happens and i get 60 and uh, life will be good last obstacle oh my god man holy shit there it is i hate this place with passion 60 tickets in a row nice amount of renown points that took me an entire hour one minute per ticket but i'm very happy with that and i can get some extra points by just exchanging them all right now without making any mistakes first of all i can buy a snapdragon from here and that should be a task nice and now i can spend the rest on my agility training and now it's 66 and one more time and now it's 68 beautiful and if i boost it all the way up that is way more than we actually needed so you may be wondering why have i been saving all these points well i wasn't sure what decision I'm gonna take next. I was contemplating two options, either unlocking all the skills and training them, or the option that I'm gonna choose right now, which is the option to unlock Privdenus. And in Privdenus, uh, there is so much content and so many ways to get more points. So that's why I really wanna do it. So Elf 3 is gonna give a Song of the Elves, Morningdale Part 2, Making History, Morning End Part 1, Roving Elves, Big Jumpy Bird Harding, Sheepshare, The Regicide, Underground Pass, Biohazard, and Plague City. All these quests completed for... 53 renown you know what i'm taking it and i still have 63 left over the very first thing i want to do is actually speed run the roof course agility now in order to complete that i think i'll have to get some teleports so honestly i might have to do a couple of laps see these portals that teleports you half the way across the map and I should be able to immediately get it first try maybe even. 109, new personal best. I believe that is the two hard tasks actually. Complete the agility course but also under 110 which is beautiful. And I just got gifted 6 renown points straight up immediately back. A quick charter 50 points. Moss giant 50 points. It is absolutely ridiculous how many points you can get here. Safe spotting a water fiend. Uh, another 50 points. Oh look what I see on the map. This is what we need. Also I'm gonna be thieving 50 what are these called elves yeah 50 elves but i just saw a crystal impling on my minimap and let's hopefully be able to get it there it is and would you look at that crystal acorn with a 50 point task and this is also a task but i don't think my farming level is high enough okay this count says defeating an elf that's good extra two renown i mean shit even just speaking to this person gives you points Look, 25. I know for a fact I'm gonna need Dragon Slayer completed for a couple of tasks actually, so instead of me actually going out of my way to do the quest, I'm just gonna skip it and just have it completed, just like that. There is us pickpocketing an elf 50 times. I never knew this existed in the game, but there's four memorium crystals in the game, gotta find them and then that'll be a task done. One should be in this bush right here, one is in the dungeon, this crystal outcrop right here, that's three, and last one is this rock, I believe, right before you climb the trees. Perfect, those are all four memorium Memorium crystals, I just gotta take them to the center now. And now I believe I can put them on this memorium device. And there it is, that's another 50 points, very free. Also bought a set of full adamant, just so I can do a nice little three-way into a task completion. A full rune will be obtained after I start off with gauntlet. So I guess it is time to actually unlock the gauntlet as well. Once again, we have 86 points to spend. Now, a disclaimer, I am not good at gauntlet, but I'm still going to unlock this because I think I can improve. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock it. That 
way I'm gonna kinda lock myself into this content and just force myself to get better. I mean, that's the best way to improve in life anyways. So there we go, the gauntlet is obtained and we still have a lot of points that we can spend. So I'm gonna just send it right into it. But first of all, I need to figure out what kind of fragment setup I wanna run. So I will be going with both chain magic and double tap. And I think that's gonna do just fine. And obviously I'll prioritize getting a range and magic weapon in the gauntlet. Okay, here it is. Well, I am pretty bad, but even if I'm bad and even if I'm slow, eventually I'll get faster and the loot can still be great. So yeah, it took me eight minutes and 44. I could definitely improve this time. I'm gonna do a couple of normal ones and then I'm gonna move on to corrupted. But let's see the loot from the very first one. <laughs> I got an armor seed already. That's like 10 million in main game. With a bunch of mithril arrows and uncut emeralds and what can I even do with that? I don't even know. Very tiny change of plans. I think if I take the relic where I deal more damage, the less HP I have, I would do a lot better. So let's go ahead and try that. So once I'm able to unlock my next tier, I'll actually be able to have Knife's Edge and then two extra, for example, like the range double hit. However, I can't do that right now, so I'm not gonna spend too much time at the gauntlet until I unlock the tier six. So I guess my next best bet is this better magic accuracy one. So this way, the less HP, the more damage, and the accuracy increase might also help me. I think I'm getting a lot faster, and I had a horrible map where I had to search for my fishing spots. And there it is. I've done it in under eight minutes, so 7.23. If my fishing spots were lucky, I think I can easily get under five minutes. And look at that. A rune full helm is actually one of the things that I needed so I can alk one of those and I keep one and now I just need the room plate body no really I was doing so well oh, I don't know what I did wrong there damn okay so I tried the speed run with like very little prep and it went kind of okay and then that happened ah that was so free though but I'm so bad like I'm actually so bad so I'm just gonna go do more tasks so I can get to tier six that was ba I basically had it let's just pretend we had it hold up another one Ooh, two dragon stones that's pretty good all right as quickly as possible we will complete 825 points in order to obtain my next tier so that should be the first one 50 points there since we have to get some points and well i really want to get some points let's go ahead and unlock construction now that we have unlocked construction i'm quickly going to complete daddy's home and that should give me a bunch of construction xp straight away they should do the daddy's home we're up to 36 construction basically well 28 we get a nice little package of stuff that we are now going to use i'm going to use all these planks see what level i get to so i feel like this will be one of the tasks and now if i build the kitchen that should be another task yeah that's a free task right there that should be the oak larder. Thank you very much. 35 construction. The goal is exactly 50 construction, including the boost, obviously. And then we're gonna just move our house around a little bit. It's gonna give us a ton of points. I think that does it. Let's lose a little bit of money. Relocate to Taverly. Relocate to Polnivnich. Relocate to Releka. And relocate to Yanil. But I have 50 construction, homie. Okay, so I can't actually do that because the game wants me to have a straight up 50 construction. Does this do it? Hey, there it is, the big 50. Let's go ahead and move our house now. Relocate. Yanil. That was 25k. This is all my money. I have 200 coins to my name. It is an absolute disaster. I'll leave a couple of elves right here to make some money because I'm broke. Quickly stole 100k from this poor man and now I can enter ref caves if I want. Alright, the first thing I want to do is collect items from the sage and I'm gonna choose a crystal bow here and I also get Ivan staff. I need 200k to upgrade that and then that would be a task but crystal bow should be a task uh, and a pretty good one at that and now also since I am using bottomless quiver, I now save 90% of the charges. All right, so here's the thing, right? I'm doing a clue scroll, hard clue scroll, in hopes of getting a black D hide or magic short bow or something of that sort. And it requires me to go to Trollheim, right? So I could just uh, run my way there or I can automatically unlock a quest. And I think that's just a better option straight up. We're gonna go and unlock the Edgar's Ruse because it's only three points. There we go. It's now unlocked and now I'll be able to teleport straight to Trollheim. So that's gonna save us uh, a little bit of time. First, I'm gonna teleport to Karen. That's gonna be the task. Thank you for 50. And now I go Trollheim. Easy peasy. I mean, I might regret it, but uh, what is done is done. Let's go. We did it. I'm kind of crazy with ascending on the quests right now. Because, like, at some point, I should complete, like, like the Fremenic one, the 40, you know? Like, it's rough. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. This is the best trick you will ever see in your career. You step on this style, you chop this tree. Watch this. It's, it's like magic. My guy is taking its time, though. Like, he's uh, keeping it suspenseful. But watch this. You just run through the entire jungle. Hey, hey, look, I got a fragment as well. Home wrecker. I got a new one. What is this? What is home wrecker even? Let's take a look. Increased bird nest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. That's probably like the worst fragment I've seen. Okay, hard clue. Are we gonna be able to do it? How many steps are usually hard clues? I'm really surprised. There is no like fragment that would lower the clue steps required to finish a clue. I'm super surprised that's not the thing. Come on now. Oh, <gasps> 
Huge. This is huge, guys. This is actually straight up huge right now. Let's go. First heart clue completed. Let's see what do we get. Let's go. Good luck. We'll take it. That's good. That is really good, actually. If I eat one purple sweet, that's a task. If I grab a log and a tinder box and color my logs and burn them, that should be the task as well. We'll take that. That's nice. Sick. Oh, yeah. And the black D hide upgrade. Oh, cross a trap. Let's go, man. I think that that has to be a reward. Come on. Let's go. This is huge, boys. This is huge. Come on. It's, it's an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh, man. No, dude. I have nothing left. I don't have any more hard clues. So, uh, it do be what it do be. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and nulk those. Okay, let's see. Maybe some luck. Beginner first. No unique. Uh, medium second. Oh. <gasps> Okay, complete a medium scroll, some points, and I got a unique as well. Two uniques, actually. So that's a ton of points there. Diamond amulet. I can enchant this and make myself a power emmy. That was the easiest upgrade of my life. There it is. Amulet of power. Is that a task? It is a task. Free task. Thanks, game. And would you look at that? All of a sudden, we have enough Sages Renown to unlock Karand 3. Look at all these quests we're gonna get. 100% in all favors as well. It is a lot of points, though, but we're doing it because it's also gonna give us a shit ton of points towards tier 6. It's scary, though, but let's go. Accept. So from 400 points, how many do we get? Bro, look how many things it unlocks. We got 50 Sages Renown back straight away. So we basically only used like 20 something and we are close man. We are close Let's keep it going. We just paid 100k. Let's have some fun in the ref caves. Oh, yes Oh, this is it. This we needed that now I can equip. Oh my god. It's beautiful So I'm gonna chuck one into the looting bag wait not not both though one into the looting bag and the other one I can alk and now I have another task basically automatically completed We no longer take damage and equip a bracelet of ethereum It's a task 25 points with that alchemy. We are now over over 200k so i think we could proceed with our plan now easy there we go that's a task right there thank you very much 25 look at it it's beautiful it's glorious oh yes 50 points for a dragon impling 273 dragon arrows go rock create oh it's huge it's absolutely massive 125 we are so close almost there but almost there we now have an upgraded ibon staff and when i wield it oh i know what i'm gonna do for the last 10 points i'm gonna pick a pineapple it's gonna be insane look at this i'm gonna pick this yeah and no we're five points off Okay, I think this does it. I think this does it. Let's go. Spiny helmet, wear it. Would you look at that? Tier 6 unlocked. This is huge. This is actually amazing. We get 3x on the drop rate. So now we can start having fun. We can start doing corrupted gauntlet, go for dragon defenders, go for drops, all sorts of PVM stuff, and then worry about points later before I max. I'll worry about points. I'll get 16 x XP, but now it's gonna be all about PVMing, and I'm super excited. This is this is fun. Let's go. I am once again in a financial problem, uh, but at least I have some blood runes and some death runes. We're gonna go cast some ice barrages or smoke barrages rather, and train our defense up, and then we're gonna do some corrupted gauntlet. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be here for a little bit of time until the runes run out. Then we have to make money in the corrupted gauntlet. But the goal is defense levels as many as possible. You have XP right here on the side, and uh, yeah, let's just chill for a bit rogues yeah i've unlocked uh, all prayer fragments now so can't use that anymore cool little milestone 70 prayer and 1400 total very cool i'm still here still training i just activated two set effects so we have the full-on double touch but also full-on chain magic we're gonna try to do corrupted gauntlet like that and see how it goes Whoa! i just got a combat level mid fight nice okay there we go that was much easier than before maybe it's the defense levels maybe it's the extra tankiness that i I have from the defense uh, but that is the first task i get 125 points let's see the first chest with 3x increased multiplier for drops eight rune full helms a bunch of death runes um the shards are going to be used to create gear later on we are in the money right now look at this oh that one was close no supplies left and i got a grandmaster combat achievement wolf puncher i don't know but the fight took me very long time i have no idea what this is but i got a grandmaster achievement so i guess i did something good I don't really know. I think the fight just took extremely long time. Nice amount of blood runs from this one. Uh, those are always nice to get. Aha, uh -huh. the task was to kill the corrupted with only making one attuned weapon. Uh, so basically, yeah, I only did, uh, I only upgraded my bow, not my staff. So that's kind of cool achievement, honestly, that I'm able to do it. Now, because of that, I really want to unlock Slayer and I want to start going for a dragon defender. First of all, the drop rates are three times increased. Shouldn't take me too long at all. But first off, let's just go ahead and unlock Slayer. There it is. 
Slatty's, Slatty's being unlocked and then obviously as soon as I get 30 points I will also unlock Herblur just because I really want to get it up. One of the tasks is to take a task from Konar and from this list I think Ankus are my best bet. I need to kill them in Stronghold of Security. Should be simple enough. I'm actually gonna grab a relic that allows me to obtain more clue scrolls so we see if we can get a couple of hard clues to do later on. That got me all the way to 42 Slayer and now I need to take one Slayer task from this guy right here. Much now. Wait, did this gave me a task already and I haven't even picked one. So I guess I can just close out of this. Yeah, psych, don't even need to take it. Well, and would you look at that, Vanaka, same thing. You don't actually need to take a task from him. So I was looking at which Slayer Masker actually assigns Hill Giants and Machna. This one in Canifis actually does. And the reason for that, Cyclopses are actually Hill Giants. So I want to do two things at once. I want to be getting my Slayer XP up, but also I want to be getting my Defender. So we're going to grab these Hill Giants tasks and we're going to kill 50 at a time. But I need a more reliable way to get to Birthrope. I probably have to just make a bunch of games necklaces. Hold on a second. I just got a dragon on a beat fragment. Um, I've just crafted a couple of sapphires. And as always, since it is a completely new fragment, let's take a look at what it does. So this one save the hide armor materials. So when crafting a dragon hide armor, there is a 10% chance the materials would be saved and it goes up to 40% once it's maxed out. So pretty decent one if you plan on training crafting with hides, I guess. Three times the drop rate. Let's see how long this takes. That is the first one. Bronze. That is iron. Steel defender. Taking me quite a long time actually, but yeah, that is black defender. Nice. But I would absolutely love to get out of this place as fast as possible. I'm kind of stuck. Bro, I'm not exaggerating when I say this, but I'm dry. Okay, look, I've killed 276 and I'm on black defender. One in 50 in the normal game, but I have three times increased rate. Like what is going on? Why am I stuck? Well, this felt like forever, but there is mithril defender and I'm now 84 strength all of a sudden. I swear I've been here for like three hours, maybe. I don't even know. All right, Jimmy is my lucky charm. Here's my adamant defender. Come on, just one more to go and I can go to the other room, man. It's time. I don't think defenders are buffed. I'm pretty sure defenders have the one in 50 drop chance like they do on main game. So that is a little bit unfortunate, but come on, just let me get this rune one and I can move away from here. I don't like it. I'm no move bad. Okay, it exists. Let's go. And all of a sudden, that was just too easy. There it is. Dragon Defender. That's a task. Thank you very much. Some Sages Renown as well. And now, look at that. We have exactly 30 Sages Renown, meaning that I can unlock my last skill in this uh, in this league. And that was pretty much the goal for this video. So let's go ahead, enter the bank, click unlocks, go for the Herblor, and straight up unlock it. Just like that, we've unlocked every single skill. We're now level 3 Herblor. And obviously, in the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and they just level up my skills, also go for PVM drops, all sorts of stuff like that. So I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. A nice little simple one with a nice little goal to end it off with. And as always, if you missed any of the previous episodes, feel free to check them out in the playlist in the description. Thank you once again for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.